Hey, scientists! Hey, Jen! <laughs> Hi, friends. It's nice to see you. I'm Jen the Entomologist, your preschool professor of tiny science, and we're here to talk about insects. Are you ready? Now, insects are a type of animal called an arthropod. Can you say arthropod? Arthropods. <laughs> yeah, I love how you say it. It's great. Now, arthropods, we're going to talk more about those today. Arthropods are a group of animals. There's lots of different kinds of arthropods, but they all have a hard shell and jointy legs that go like this. You know, we have jointy legs that go like this, but do we have a hard shell? N not really. We're pretty soft. So Girls we're... Do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's an interesting point. We'll get right to that one. We've got a soft part. We're not arthropods. We're mammals. Snails have a hard shell, but they don't have legs that go like this, right? So those are mollusks. Turtles is a really good point. Turtles do have a hard shell, and they have legs that go like this. But they don't count as arthropods because their hard shell isn't made of their skin parts. It's actually made of their bone parts. And that's not even my area of expertise. So we'll move right on from there. But turtles are not arthropods. There are four groups of arthropods, actually. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Are you ready? <laughs> the first group of arthropods are called arachnids. Can you say arachnids? Arachnids. Oh, good. Thank you. Now, there's lots of different kinds of arachnids. I'm best at drawing the spider, so that's what I draw. Spiders are a type of arachnid. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, also like, I also like spiders. Oh, good. Do you know how many legs spiders have? Eight. Yes, you're right. You always got that. Eight legs, four on each side. Some spiders have eight eyes. Four. I know, right? Oh, I got that one in extra. That's cool. Well, that's about right. So, <laughs> so here we have our spider is one type of arachnid. Scorpions are arachnids too. That's interesting. And there's some things that we think of as spiders that aren't spiders, but they are arachnids. Oh, it's interesting stuff. Okay, but moving on, we've got to talk about the four groups of, arach of arthropods. Here we have arachnids. Our next group is called crustaceans. Can you say crustaceans? Crustaceans. Thank you. Crustaceans. Now, my favorite crustacean to draw is a crab. That's one type of crustacean. This crab. Crab. Uh-huh. That's pinch. a pretty good crab. They pinch you. They can pinch you, that's for sure. They can do a lot with those legs. This is a pretty happy crab. Should we give it a unicorn horn? Yeah. <laughs> that's a good yeah. one. All right, so this crab is one type of crustacean, but lobsters and shrimps and even roly polies are crustaceans. Oh. Isn't that amazing? I know. It's really cool. I'm okay. A roly -poly. So <laughs> you are a roly poly. <laughs> okay. So here we have arachnids. You want to say arachnids? Arachnids. And crustaceans. Crustaceans. Very good. Now the next group of arthropods are called myriapods. Can you say myriapods? Myriapods. Good, good, good. Myriapods, I love that word. Science is full of words that are made up of smaller words stuck together, and so they kind of tell a story. Oh, it's one of my favorite parts. That's called etymology. Oh, but let's not be confused with entomology here. Myriapods, myria means a lot. Like if a mirror is broken, it shatters into so many pieces. That's a myriad of pieces. And pod means feet. So myriapod, do you have a guess who myriapods are? I'll draw one for you. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait, wait. What is, was that leafy? Oh, I love that you're telling me about leafy. Nope, this one's different from leafy. Whoa, leafy. it has way more many legs. Right, <laughs> exactly, legs. exactly. We know it's a myriapod because they have so many legs. And it doesn't have those antennas on it. Oh, your observations are fantastic. You're right, no antenna. Should we give it a unicorn horn? Yeah. I think so. All of the ones have unicorns. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> now, I think myriapods do have antenna, but I kind of leave them off there. <laughs> and I don't give a unicorn horn to the spider because when I draw a horn on a spider, it looks scary to me. And I don't want to go there. So, you know what I do is I give a cape to a spider. Are you interested in seeing that? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Here we go now. <laughs> good. Now, let's take this part off. There we go. That's it pretty like good. Super. <laughs> it is. Should we get a super spider logo? Yeah. Okay, let's see. It goes An like S this. and then a circle. Oh, good. I have a special S. Let me show it to you. It goes like this. A double S super <laughs> spider. I know it's really good, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I think the myriapod should also have a cape. And we haven't really talked about what myriapods really are. You know what this is, right? 
Myriapods are centipedes and millipedes. Even the crab. Oh, the crab. Let's put a cape under behind. We're looking at the front of the cape. Let's see. Or the body. That looks pretty good. All right, we've got some good stuff going on here. Now, how many groups of arthropods do we have now? Three. Three, exactly. One and more? I told you how many were there? Four, right. There's actually five. One group is extinct, but we'll leave that to Wikipedia if you're interested. Go ahead, come back now. Four groups of extant or living arthropods, arachnids, crustaceans, myriapods, and insects. And we know it's an insect because we can sing the body part song. Are you ready? <laughs> I knew you would. Okay, here it goes. You ready? Head, thorax, abdomen. <laughs> it's a good one. It's like a TV channel jingle. Okay, we're missing some parts here. Can you tell me, remember what parts we put on? How many legs? legs. How many? Six. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Five, six. How about the head? What's missing? Um, antenna. Yeah, antenna. We talked a lot about those last Eyes. time. Eyes. Mouth. Mm-hmm. Mouth. I'm gonna put the mouth up top, <laughs> so <laughs> he could put the wings on the back. Now, I don't give insects wings because they are insects capes because they have wings, which I think are amazing. Wings and legs. <sighs> insects. Right. Okay, so we'll give this beetle some wings. <laughs> I mean, some wings, yeah. And then maybe a unicorn horn. Let's ah. fix that. Okay. That's all pretty them. cute. They're all looking pretty good. Have all right. Cake? Friends, are you ready for a new song? Yeah. We <laughs> You're the best. Okay, we have just learned that there are four groups of arthropods. Let's say them together before we do the song, okay? There's arachnids. Arachnids. Thank you. Crustaceans. Crustaceans. Mm -hmm. Myriapods. Myriapods. And insects. And insects. Yep. Okay, now listen, I'm going to sing the song for you. Ready? <clears throat> oh, I always get my four ready to remind me what song I'm singing. There, there are four groups of arthropods. How many four? How many four? There are four groups of arthropods. Let's say them together. Arachnids, bum 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 bum, crustaceans, bum 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 bum, and myriapods, bum 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 bum, and don't forget the insects, head, thorax, abdomen. Good job. I absolutely love hearing you sing that. It's just so good. All right, friends. Now that's our whole lesson about arthropods today, and that's going to wind it up for this lecture. Next time we're around, we're going to talk more about insects, more about the body parts, and I can't wait to figure out what more. Thanks for tuning in to Tiny Science. Think about finding my Facebook page, liking that, and subscribing to the YouTube channel. It does help. See you around. Ha, <laughs>